Hello and welcome to Big Orbit Games and Boxing Video for the new Weishwarz release of the Idolmaster Cinderella Girls Trial Deck. My name's Simon and I'll be doing the unboxing today. So for this set they've actually released three different trial decks. One, each one is a single colour, so this one is funnily enough a pure yellow deck. And they all focus on one particular Cinderella Girl, so this one focuses on Mia Honda. Uh, so this, which is a bit different, uh, and it's cool. It shows, you know, sort of like some respect for the work that they're, uh, sort of the series that they're uh, providing, uh, providing the cards for. So I think it's really cool. It's a nice touch to do that. So I'll just show you what's actually in the box, especially for those of you who are brand new to white shots. So you get three different pamphlets in here. So you get your uh, playbook, which is your more in-depth rules guide so this is useful once you've started learning if you want some more detail on the rules and interactions of cards reference this uh, it's got a little questions and answers at the back which is very useful for new players we then have a sort of like a play guide in here so I'll go the other way around first so this is a rule sheet that shows you how to play so it just explains um, all the different aspects and elements of the cards it explains the different areas on your playmat and I would recommend using the playmat to start with then at the bottom uh, get ready for action and all oh, right time to face off then once you start playing flick over to the other side and it explains the different phases and what you can do during them and then how the attack phase works and there's a because there's a couple of different ways you can attack in the game so it's not as daunting as it looks um, it might take a bit of getting used to if you're playing it for the first time but Stick with it, it's a good game. Then you also get a playmat here as well. I'd highly recommend using this to begin with because the cards denote everything. There's no counters or dice in this game. Uh, and you also have a little turn progression up here just to remind you of how the turn goes through. A little reminders on the center stage about how to do the different attacks as well. And then just slots where all your different cards go. So on the back, you have um, explanations for each of the three decks. So the one we're looking at at the moment is the power deck. And so it just goes through some of the cards and explains how to use them. And then my favorite bit is at the bottom, it even shows you some cards that you should look at adding from the booster packs uh, and the cards to take out to replace. So I really like that, it's a nice little touch. And then that goes through for the other two decks, which I'll also be opening later, check those out. So, once I've refolded that, that's that. So, without further ado, let's take a look at the actual deck itself. So I just need to get it out of its uh, cellophane prison. So, neatly neatly sealed away. So let's put it out of there. So on the top, you get a nice hollow card. So this is the Wonderful Magic Mio. So it's a level three, costs two stock to play, has 10,000 power has three different abilities here. So the first one, continuous, so the number of your other music characters is three or more. This card gets plus a thousand power. So that's referring to the attribute down here. So this one is a music type, and I think you'll find that all the cards in there are music as well, so useful. So as long as you have three or more other music characters, she's 11,000 power. Then she has the character facing this card gets minus one soul. That's useful, means your opponent's doing less damage to you. And then auto, if you have a card named highest stage on your climax area, if the cards and um, this card's in your center stage until end of turn, it gets plus 3000 power. And the following effect, auto, this ability activates once per turn. When damage dealt by this card is cancelled, you can deal one damage to your opponent, uh, which can still be cancelled as normal. But it's useful if you've attacked through because she has two soul. Plus you've played the climax, you might be hitting for four or more soul. Then your opponent pulls the climax and cancels it. Well, she still gets to deal an extra damage, so you're still pipping in that damage. So, really cool level three to have. Uh, it has a, this is referred to as the climax combo, so it just makes it a little bit more exciting and interesting to play. So you get one of those in hollow, and we'll see another one of those later. Then we're on to the, the the core of the deck. So we start with the level zeros. So we have start with 14 members, Rika. So she's level zero, cost zero, 500 power. Continuous, all of your other characters named Charisma, JK, Mika get plus 1000 power, so she's boosting up other cards in the trial deck. And then Auto, pay two stock. When this card is placed on the stage from hand, you can pay that cost to search your deck for up to one music character, reveal your opponent, punch your hand, shuffle the deck. Which, funny enough, you should probably be looking up at Charisma. 
So that's a tutoring effect, and that's a really nice way to get the cards you need into your hand. And you get two of those in the deck. Then we have Veteran Trainer, another level zero, cost of zero, 500 power. She has two abilities, Continuous Assist. All of your characters in front of her get plus 500 power. Because your stage is like in a W shape, that means the two in front of her will get the 500 power. She's also got an act, rest the card, choose another character, and it gets plus one level until end of turn. Now, this ability um, is useful if your opponent has what's called a reverser, which are cards that say, um, uh, say, like, you have a level zero that says, um, when it attacks, uh, if you become reversed and your opponent is level zero or lower, for example, they get reversed as well. So they're called reversers because they take their opponent out with them, even if they're weaker. And by increasing the level of your characters, you can then avoid that because you can see, oh, look, their reverser says they have to be level zero. Well, I'll make my level zero level one, thus can't be reversed. So that's what that's useful for. It's a bit of a corner case, but it is useful when it comes up. So you get two of those. We then have In Lesson Curari. Cost uh, level zero, cost zero, thousand power, auto. When this character is placed on stage from hand, choose uh, one of your level one or higher characters, and it gets plus one soul until end of turn. So, again, this could be useful using the act of that previous one, make one of your characters level one to give it that soul boost. And then, when this card is put into your waiting room from stage, you can put the top three cards of your deck into your waiting room. Now, that's milling your own deck, that sounds bad. But it can be useful because there are cards which do what's called salvage, which is they go through your waiting room and get cards out of it. So it could be useful to put some cards into your own waiting room just so you can get them uh, get them back using other methods. And we get one of those. We have Taking a Step Once More, Producer. He's looking very haggard there. Uh, level zero, cost zero, thousand power, and continuous. All of your other yellow characters get plus 500 power, so you can just sit on your backstage and boost all of your characters up, because all the cards in this trial deck are yellow. Uh, and we get two of those. Then we have start with 14 members, um, Maria. Level zero, cost zero, 2,500 power. Also, when this card is placed on stage from hand, this card gets plus 1,500 power to the end of turn. So the turn you play, she's 4,000 power, which is enough to maybe throw an even level one cards. So, nice power buff. So you get two of those. Then we have In Audition Mio. Level zero, cost zero, 3,000 power, but no abilities. Just a nice and simple character with a good stat. And we get four of those. Then we have First Job um, Maria. I'm terribly sorry if I'm mispronouncing that though. Uh, level zero, cost zero, 3,000 power. So again, just a nice, simple character. We get four of those. We have my first star, Maria. So it's level one, cost zero, and this symbol means backup. So she has 1,500 power, and then she can be played from your hand as a backup for 1,500 power. So you can play this when your opponent attacks you to help keep one of your characters alive by increasing its power. No, you can't do it on your own turn, though. Only on your opponents. And you get two of those. Then another level one, the Charisma JK Mika. So, we saw the card that referenced this one earlier. Level one, cost of zero to play, 4,500 power. And during your turn, it gets plus 2,000 power. So, it's designed to be aggressive, not defensive. It's designed to have high power, challenging even level twos at some point. And you get four of those in there, which is useful. We have first job Rika. Level 1, cost of 0, and just 5,500 power, but no ability, just a good solid stat there for its power. You get 4 of those. My first star, Rika. So, level 1, cost of 1 to play, 6,500 power, and she has Encore. So, put a character from your hand into your waiting room. So, all characters as default have Encore pay 3 stock, and that lets you, um, when they've been reversed in battle, lets you keep them alive. Whereas her ability, you can put a character from your hand into your waiting room instead of paying three to keep her on the stage, which can be very useful. We get two of those. We have the first step, Mio. This is a first level two. It's a cost of one to play. 3,500 power. All of your other music characters get plus 1,000 power. And when your other tr character's trigger check reveals a climax, choose one of your characters and it gets plus one soul until end of turn. 
So even though it's a level two, this actually wants to be on your backstage, really, um, supporting your others because it gives them all a thousand power boost, and because of the possibility of triggering a climax and getting that extra soul damage in. And you only get one of those, sadly. Now we have together with Anzu Kirari. So level two, cost of one, seven thousand five hundred power. Two abilities, during a turn it gets plus 500 power for each of your other yellow characters, so potentially another 2,000, 9,500, add in someone who's buffing it, you're way over powering even level 3 characters, which is amazing. And then auto, encore, put the top card of your deck into your clock so you can damage yourself to keep her alive, which is quite a steep cost if you're already at level 2 because you're getting very close to 3 and you know, thus 4 and losing, so... Steep cost, but it could be what you need. Uh, so you actually get four of those in there, but each one's a different piece of artwork, which is quite nice. I'm sure for fans of the series, that's a nice touch. Next up, we have Encounter with the Trio, Mika. So level two, cost of one to play, 7,500 power. She has auto, when another of your yellow character attacks, it gets plus 1,000 power until the end of turn. So attack with her third to get the extra 2,000. An act, rest one of your LA characters to give a plus 1000 power to the end of turn, so you rest someone on the back row supporting. She's way overpowering even level 3s at that point. So much raw power in this deck. And they did call it the power one. We have first job, Karari. Level 2, cost of 2, 9000 power, no abilities, just a nice good beat stick. We have two of those. And then you saw we have the level, one, level 3 on the top. We had in hollow, you also get a normal version. Um, just one of those, so you get two in total on the deck. Then we have an event, super happy, happy candy shower. So events are just played as a one-off, you play them, then they go to the waiting room. Level one, cost one. Search your deck for up to one music character, reveal each your opponent, put your hand and shuffle your deck. Very simple. Um, and again, they're all music characters, so you can target any card for any situation you need using this. You get two of those. Then we're on to the climaxes. So you get Please Cinderella. So this Climax is a double soul trigger, and when it's placed on stage, uh, Climax area, sorry, from hand, you draw a card, and then one of your characters gets plus 2,000 pound, plus one soul until end of turn. So you get one, two, three, four of those, but each with different artwork. Again, for those of you who are fans of the series, I'm sure you appreciate this. Then our next card is the highest stage. This one is all of your characters get plus 1,000 power and plus 1 soul, um, which is nice, general buff for everyone. Uh, it's a soul and a burn trigger, and the burn trigger is you deal one, uh, sorry, during this turn when the next damage dealt by the attacking character, this card trigger is cancelled, you get to deal a damage to them, which is a really nice touch, and your level 3 had that as well. So, And you get f um, four of those in total, but with different artwork on them. So there we go. So that's all the different cards that are in here, that are in the trial deck. It's quite a simple, straightforward power one. Uh, I mean, it is called the power deck. There's just lots of power buffs, lots of straightforward, just punching your opponent's characters as hard as you can and just pushing through that damage. Um, and you've got like a little climax combo and stuff in there, but generally speaking, it's quite straightforward to play. It's a nice and simple one. Um, just lots of buffing and support, which is always good to have and good if you're new to the game. I like the touch they've done with having the different artwork on the cards, they're not just all the same. That's a really nice, nice little feature. So, so yeah, definitely if you're into the Idol Master, this is a great place to start. Any of the three trial decks are a good place. Pick one of the three, this is the more straightforward power one. If you want to check out the other two and see what they're like. Um, check out my videos because I'll be unboxing those later as well and then you can decide between the three or just go for it and get all three and a Meister set because why not <laughs> okay so everything you've seen here today can be bought and sold on our website as individual cards on bigorbitcards.co.uk remember to like and subscribe check out my other Moi Schwartz videos and like I said the rest of the Idol Master which I'll be unboxing later so I hope you've enjoyed watching and I'll see you next time bye